The story of Esther and Mordecai is one of the interesting stories from the Bible found in the book of Esther that teaches us about purpose and is applicable to every believer. The event happened in ancient Persia, where a young Jewish girl named Esther became queen through the help of her uncle Mordecai, who noticed her beauty and encouraged her to participate in the beauty competition organized by King Xerxes. However, she kept her heritage a secret. Meanwhile, her uncle Mordecai, a wise and just man, was hated by a wicked official named Haman. Haman planned to destroy the Jewish people, and that made Mordecai seek Esther's help. Esther later revealed her Jewish identity to King Xerxes and pleaded for her people's safety. The king granted her request, and Haman's wicked plan was exposed. In the end, Haman was executed, and the Jewish people were saved. In this video, we'll look at six things we can learn from this story as well as the essential lessons they can teach us about purpose and how we can fulfill God's purpose for our lives. Here are six life-changing lessons we can learn from the story of Esther and Mordecai. God has a specific plan for your life. One of the life-changing lessons to learn from the story of Esther and Mordecai is that God has a specific plan for your life. In a world filled with uncertainty, it's easy to question your purpose and significance in life. We have people who often ask questions like, why am I here? Who am I? What was I created to do? The reality is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God, with a purpose only you can fulfill. Like Esther was positioned to save her people, God has placed you in this time with a divine purpose and has chosen you even before you were born. We can see this in Jeremiah 1 verse 5 and Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So, no matter what you've gone through in life, everything was planned to work out for God's purpose in your life. Romans 8 verse 28, You are not a product of accident or luck. You are a masterpiece designed by God. Your talents, Passions and experiences are all part of his plan. Ephesians 2 verse 10 encourages us that we are God's workmanship, created for good works. He prepared in advance for us. As believers, while facing challenges and uncertainties, let's trust his timing and remain faithful to his calling on our lives. Prepare yourself ahead of opportunities. The importance of preparing yourself ahead of opportunities cannot be taken lightly. Preparation is the key to success in life. It gives us an advantage when blessings comes our way. I learned something from my mentor. He told me, it's too late to prepare when opportunities come your way. So learn to prepare before your opportunities come. Yes, this is true for everyone. And this is one of the lessons we can learn from the story of Esther and Mordecai that is relevant to our time. Preparation is essential because if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. No good soldier learns to shoot in the heat of battle. They sharpen their skills before the battle even begins. Sometimes, the right opportunity comes at the perfect moment. Mordecai was a wise guardian, and he guided Esther in her preparation. He recognized her potential and helped her prepare for the beauty contest, which she eventually won. Esther's timing was essential in her efforts to save her people. This teaches us to be patient and seize the right opportunities when they come. As believers, we must equip ourselves spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Invest in our relationship with God, acquire knowledge, develop our skills, and be ready for opportunities. Don't procrastinate. Always take action at the right time. We often underestimate the power of timeliness. Procrastination is the enemy of progress and can silently sabotage our destinies. Esther's courage to act at the right time averted a grave disaster for her people. Had she procrastinated, the outcome would have been tragically different. Her decisive action is a reminder that delay can cost us dearly. Procrastination is a stumbling block in our journey of faith. It can hinder our purpose, rob us of opportunities, and leave us with the feelings of had I known, how I wish this. Believe me, God's timing is perfect, and when He prompts us to act, we should take advantage of the time and take action. But why should we, as believers, always take action at the right time? We should learn to take action because procrastination is not godly. It's a thief of destiny. God's plan for our lives requires our active participation. We must not be complacent. We must be diligent and obedient. 
Don't waste time. The time is now to act and to fulfill the divine purpose that God has ordained for your life. Understand times and seasons. There is a divine clock ticking for every believer, and not understanding times and seasons can lead to missed blessings and unnecessary delays in our lives. God has a perfect plan for each of us, and He has appointed specific times and seasons for our lives. Mordecai told Esther in Esther 4 verse 14, For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. This is to let us know that God has appointed moments for us to rise to the occasion because to everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. There is a divine allocation of time for your destiny. You are not here by accident. God has a purpose for your existence, and recognizing the times and seasons is vital. When you understand times and seasons, you know what to do, and you act upon that knowledge. The children of Issachar were appraised because they understood times and seasons and knew what Israel ought to do. 1 Chronicles 12 verse 32 Seek God's help as a Christian to comprehend the times and seasons of your life. Don't let fear or doubt stop you. When your Kairos moment arises, step out in faith. Have mentors and spiritual covering over your life. Having mentors and spiritual covering in your life is a divine strategy for success. You don't know what you stand to gain when you have men and women in your life. You can stand on their shoulders to see far. And you don't know what you miss when you lack these people. There are times in my life when I almost took the wrong step, but a call from my spiritual covering has saved me from potential destruction. Mordecai stood as a rock behind Esther and was one of the reasons behind many of her successes as a queen. A mentor and spiritual covering is like a protective shield and spiritual compass that points towards the path of righteousness and God's purpose for your life. They've walked the path before you, faced similar challenges, and are equipped to offer guidance born out of experience. Their counsel can help you avoid destruction. They pray on your behalf and provide a spiritual covering that safeguards you from unseen dangers. So, Look for spiritually discerned mentors and spiritual covering who can offer you their counsel and godly wisdom. The Power of Fasting and Prayer Fasting and prayer are mighty weapons in our spiritual arsenal. In a world filled with visible and invisible battles, these spiritual weapons are your key to victory. Jesus knew the value of fasting and prayer, too. The Holy Spirit led him into a solitary place for a 40-day fast before he began his earthly ministry. This was the secret to his success in the ministry, and he always encouraged his believers to fast and pray. When they struggled to heal a child, he revealed the secret and told them that some battles can only be won through fasting and prayer. As believers, there are mountains in your life that won't bow until you engage in fasting and prayer. Just as Esther and Mordecai fasted and prayed for their nation's deliverance, you can command territories through fasting and prayer. In conclusion, the story of Esther and Mordecai teaches us about purpose, how to prepare for opportunities, and how to stand up for what is right. Through their story, we learn that ordinary people can do great things in the face of hardship. So, whether you're a young believer, a teenager, or an adult, you have the power to change the world. No matter who we are or where we come from, our actions have the power to alter lives and give hope to those in need.